Hi, this is Corey, and here's another Synchro Training video. In this video, I'm going to talk about what's required to migrate to version 4.6, or really any new version of Synchro. Typically, we're used to seeing a screen that looks something like this. We have our navigator over here, our task properties on the right, and then our custom toolbar is at the top of the screen. However, when you install a new version, it's similar to going to reset layout and seeing all the windows back at the original location, and then oftentimes the toolbars will also go back to their original locations. And that's often not what we want to see. So you're going to see something like this. First off, to get away from this welcome tab, go down to the Gantt tab, and here you see your task list again. Uh, you may have additional tabs over here in your navigator that you can X out of so that you only have navigator. If you want to do 4D scheduling and linking your schedules to models, then you will need to have those 3D objects available. Those will be in subsequent videos. So next is getting your toolbars back. Uh, if you right click up here in blue space, you can come back to the back task editor. But if you haven't, uh, if, if this is no longer available to you, if you're upgrading from a very old version, um, then you're going to need to make a new, new toolbar. And here's how you do that. You right click up on the top and you go to customize. In this tab, you switch over to the toolbars tab and we're going to make a new toolbar. Call this the training toolbar or I prefer the back task editor. Now, that's going to show up in the middle of your main monitor little blue box. If you click on customize, it's going to go behind, so you just need to make sure that you don't lose this little toolbar. It's going to be in the main screen in the middle of your main monitor. So if you're working on a secondary monitor, go check over the other direction. Um, so with this new toolbar highlighted, check the box for show text labels. Now go over to commands, and what we're going to do is drag the commands that we want on our toolbar to the new toolbar. So I type the letter A twice to get to as child, and I'm going to bring as child, below, and above. And then I'm going to type D to get to down. So I can take indent, left click and drag out dent, up, and down. And then also I'll type S to get to start tasks and finish tasks. We're right here for link as chain and unlink. And then finally I'll go to the tool section to grab reschedule and compute critical path. Now I like to have my start and finish tasks over here. You can just left click and drag them to move them if you want to rearrange the order. Uh, once you close out of this customize box, then you can no longer drag the toolbars around. So you can left click and drag this toolbar up to the top of your screen to dock it. And I can also get rid of the performance section. Um, that's the primary things that you need to look at as you're getting started in a new version of Synchro. Hope this helps. Thanks.